Hello, I'm Diane Burns. Welcome to Next TV, change you can see. We're at Chicago's world famous Regal Theater, a city landmark and a showcase for live entertainment from gospel to pop music. The Regal has been around since 1928. Well, that's more than can be said for many businesses, but it's the goal of every entrepreneur to build not just a business, but a future. It could be said that our next one entrepreneur for this week is on her way to doing just that, landing some big contracts and remaining steadfast are part of the foundation for her company's success. Do I spend a lot of time driving around? Yes. I'm sorry, she's in a meeting. May I take a message right now? <laughs> no, I'm the voicemail. Margaret, how are you today, dear? Broadway Consolidated Companies is a general construction and construction management firm operating in the Chicago land area. We started this company in the summer of 2000. Right now, we're running about 12 employees. But at any time, that number, depending upon the size of the project, can go up to 25 to 30 employees. Max, yes? We We've hit the $20 million mark, and then it was a hill and then it was a valley. Let's see, today we got Joe Osco. 2009 was a tough year, but 2010 is going to be a phenomenal year. Did you follow up with George Fawcett? Hey, George, how are you this morning, dear? Oh, you're there? I didn't think you were going to be there. OK, we're on our way. You're challenged differently all the time being a woman. I mean, you're challenged in your past experience. What happens is that everybody doesn't celebrate your success, so sometimes that can be disheartening. I grew up in public housing in Pittsburgh. During those times, it was the black and I'm proud era, so being light-skinned with long hair just wasn't fashionable, so I had to fight. Made you tough. How's everybody this morning? I'm in a very male-dominated environment, so we have to be ahead of the game. Sounds like we're off and running. We're off and running. That's what we need. Let's take that female factor out of it, and let's just say, can I get her done? And can we get it done on budget, on schedule, and on time? Good afternoon. Just sitting down with a team of professionals to, to get me to think outside the box for what I really thought my original business model was and saying, you can do it. I'll communicate back with Margaret. Mm -hmm. Tell her what our game plan is. Okay. I'm calling regarding Margaret Gardner. Yes, I'm calling to discuss her final payout. I've been working with Tia to address some of the challenges that we've had with uh, one of our clients. What types of uh, resistance are you receiving? What we've been told is that, you know, we have been harassing them too much, and our first payments, we've been paid substantially. And I'm like, we've been paid substantially? But it's not a lack of your effort to collect your money. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. What if you got one paycheck in six months? Whew, how about this? Yes. Hey! You know, Sean, it was just unbelievable the amount of time that it's taken for us to be able to, to get paid. <laughs> I could have never imagined that it would take us four and five months in order to receive payment through the Gary Housing Authority. We're fighting right now to restore the covenants with, with, with our bank and keep and maintain our line of credit. And it's unbelievable where it's now manifested itself to where, you know, they arbitrarily want to cut our contract by almost $500,000 after we've literally finished the projects. These days and times, what do I do to have fun? Hey, pumpkin. If I visit my daughter at school, um, I have a lot of fun when I go and I visit her at school because when I touch down, I become mom. I look at it like this, mom. Every time, like, Broadway's had a hardship, I and mean, something better has come out of it. Like, our last real hardship, you got the Walmart gift. It's a non-prototype Walmart. It's 156,000 square foot. It's not a super Walmart. It's been Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. There are so many different dynamics um, working with the world's largest retailer. Margaret, you never had to work so hard. You know, the leadership that Margaret showed through those times was changing the paradigm of how you do business. The negativity from outside of that community against Walmart was just unbelievable. We were totally unprepared for the protests of Walmart coming to Chicago. Our prayer was that you could stand through all the controversy. We knew that there was going to be some serious sacrifice on your part to, to make this happen. We did what Making History is the first African-American um, contractor to do a major project for Walmart on, on the west side of Chicago. It really was a labor of love.
I just love this lakefront. It's one of the things that I feel so great about Chicago because my ultimate goal as a contractor is to uh, one day take one of those skyscrapers out of the ground with a Broadway logo as it's going up. I see it's doing $100 million a year in five years. It's a huge goal, but I think it's an attainable goal.